So what if I told you there is a way to spy on your competitor, see exactly what keywords are getting them sales, what keywords are converting for them, and what keywords are making them money, how you could copy those keywords, put them into your own listing title, into your own listing bullet points, and potentially get more and more of their sales. Well, I mean, that would be the truth because in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how using Helium 10 and Cerebro can get you a lot of sales potentially from your competitors if you do it right. So with that being said, let's get right into the example. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna be looking at a specific keyword. And so the example that I have been showing is the cocktail smoker kit. And exactly what exactly is this you may be asking? It is a kit where you can basically here, let me show you. You basically put a top onto your cocktail um, glass like this right here. You put that on, you put, um, it basically closes it, seal tight, and then you have, it has a hole on the top where you can put these little wood chips, you get a torch, and then you basically burn it, and then a bunch of smoke goes into this smoker kit. It's supposedly supposed to infuse or whatever, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, I don't know, I don't really care, but it's making money. And then I actually found this specifically um, through a product research technique that I had showed in another video. And so this is what I will be showing for today for our specific keyword. And so we have our specific keyword, which is going to be cocktail smoker kit. And so we have a bunch of products who are smelling, who are selling this kit. If we look away from the first four sponsored and we look specifically on the first organic results, we have this guy, we have this guy, this guy, this guy, so on so forth if i was to quickly show you how much they're making in revenue using the x-ray helium 10 um, chrome extension we can see that this is a pretty uh, profitable and a very new niche based on the number of reviews that they have now this is really quick i'm gonna show you guys but essentially this is not part of the tutorial but i just want to show you guys this is a niche that's making money even if the niche isn't making money you can still spy on your competitors and see what keywords they're using but um let me show you guys. Revenue we have from 5,000 upwards to 100 plus, 100 plus, 100 plus, 80,000, 80,000, 20,000, 40,000. So once again, it's a new, this is a very new um, keyword that people are making money off of, and specifically a very new product. And so the first organic result was this guy right here. And so essentially what we wanna do is we wanna click on him, we wanna scroll down to his ASIN, we want to copy his ASIN and basically we want to we want to put it into Cerebro, which is Helium 10's extension that will allow us to look at exactly which keywords he's using to generate himself. Now, bear with me. My laptop is being extremely slow right now. Hopefully it speeds up. Um, OK, the ASIN is right here. We want to copy this. Now, what exactly is an ASIN? ASIN is a unique product identifier that basically is your product's uh, driver's license or social security number, whatever it is. There are no two ASINs of any products that are the same because it basically is a string of letters and numbers that um, tell you what this product is. We wanna copy that and we wanna come over to Cerebro. Now with this, we um, basically wanna enter the keyword in right here. I've already done this, but we wanna enter this in and we basically wanna get as many competitors as we can, upwards of 10. Um, I like to stick anywhere from three to five, but you can do more, you can do 10, you can do three, you can do five, it doesn't really matter. It's going to give you Whatever you put into it, it's going to get the keywords that are similar out of each of those specific products. Another way to quickly find the ASIN, if we do Command F and just type in ASIN, there we go. It takes you right down to, takes you right down to the ASIN right here. Sometimes you might have to click up or down, but it'll take you to the ASIN. So it's another easy way to copy it. And so once again, we want to be copying the top competitors' ASINs, putting them all into Cerebro. So let me show you a second ASIN, how you would do that. You would just go, go back to the cocktail smoker kit, or you can simply click the back button and then you wanna scroll back down and you want to, again, ignore the first sponsored results. These people are paying to be in these spots, these first four, so we're gonna look at the first organic. You wanna click them, grab this ASIN, and then we wanna paste it into Cerebro. Now let's say we have our four ASINs, which I've already done. The next thing we wanna do, I'm gonna XL this tab because it's slowing me down extremely. The next thing we want to do is click get keywords. And so this is where the magic happens. When we click get keywords, it's going to basically take all of the data from each of these four ASINs um, that I have selected, put into Cerebro, and it's gonna show you all the keywords they have in common that are making money. 
It's going to show you how many keywords they have. Everything about these products is going to spy on your competitors, the binoculars, spy on your competitors, and show you exactly what they're doing to drive themselves. And if we scroll down, we see we have 6,300 total keywords. Now, this is a lot of keywords. And in my recommendations, I recommend that you have at least 50 to 100 keywords that are hyper relevant to your product, meaning that if I type in a specific keyword and I look at all the products, I'm going to pick your product because it makes the most sense. If I type in a cup with a lid, a black stainless steel cup with a lid, then you're selling that product and I'm going to select your product. You don't want to be focusing on keywords that are not very relevant but have a lot of search volume because what that will allow you to do is that yes you got a keyword that has a lot of search volume but now you didn't now when someone searches it and they click on the product they're not clicking your product they're clicking on someone's product that actually you know shows them and actually fulfills their demands and so since your product didn't get clicked on it never gets clicked on and amazon's algorithm they're going to keep pushing product back to page 10 page 20 page 50 whatever it is you want to be focused on products that are com on keywords that are converting and that are very specific to your product that's very very important so with that being said, we have a total of 6,300 keywords and we want to have 50 to 100 keywords. And so how do we get this down? If we just simply come up to search volume and we want to basically just have 500 as the minimum search volume. Now, why do we want that? This is going to get rid of all of the one searches per month, 10 searches per month, 50 searches per month keywords, and then give us, you know, basically the keywords that are more worth our time. We want to hit apply filters. And then we go from 6,300 keywords down to, let's see, hopefully less than a thousand, hopefully a couple hundred, okay, 800 keywords. And so now we have keywords that are being um, searched for higher. Also other things that we could do is play around with the cerebral IQ score. Now what is the cerebral IQ score? Basically it is a number and that number is gonna be higher or lower. If the number is higher, that means that there are going to be a low number of competitors compared to a high number of search terms, a high number of searches for that specific keyword. So if someone searches in the word cup, let's say there's only two competitors, but there's 20,000 searches, it's gonna have an astronomical, a huge um, cerebral IQ score. If there's a low number of searches for cups, but there's 10,000 people searching for uh, the word cup, then there's low number of cups available, but there is a ton of searches and there's going to be a very high IQ score. You want to have a high cerebral IQ score because it means there's less competition essentially. And if we actually come down, now this is where we have our 800 keywords. And this is where we actually want to filter and select which of the 800 do we want to have in our 50 to 100 keywords that we're putting into our listing bullet points, our listing title and massaging it in organically so that we actually rank for those keywords. Now, this is where you have to use your own common sense. Um, but you once again, you want it to be relevant. Now, a bourbon smoker kit for drinks, that could potentially work for us. Drink smoker infused. That is also drink smoker infused kit kata. That is also a longer tail keyword. I like the longer tail keywords. Like as, as you get to the shorter tail keywords, such as drink smoker, or let's say we had the word cocktail or the word wine, those are super broad. So they longer tail keywords, meaning the more and more keywords they have strung together, making a long tail keyword, the better it is for you. Um, cocktail smoker kit for drinks, that's also a long tail keyword. And you can see the cerebral IQ score for some of these. For some it's lower. And this is going to be once again relative to the search volume, a thousand searches for 500 products versus 5,000 searches for 500 products. The higher cerebral IQ score is going to be the better search volume relative to the number of competing products which is what you essentially want. So once again, we wanna be looking through this list, this list of 800 keywords and selecting the best words in terms of having low competition, high searches, high cerebral IQ scores, because those are gonna be the best searches for us that are going to allow us to have not a ton of competition for that search term, which will allow us to in turn rank if the searchers are relevant for us, people click a product, buy it, we're gonna rank higher and be better in Amazon's algorithm, which is very, very important. So let's say we have all our keywords. What we can do from here now is export it in an Excel spreadsheet. And this will allow us to look at these data later on. Let's say we wanna do our listing a little bit later or we wanna do a listing somewhere else. We can have an Excel spreadsheet that still has these search terms, these three IQ scores, search volume, everything else in an Excel sheet. It's very easy to access later on. 
Now, once again, we're gonna have 50 to 100 words that we're massaging into our title, into our bullet points, to where once we actually read it, that it reads organically. We're not just jamming a bunch of keywords here and there. We wanna put them in to where they're complete sentences, to where it makes sense, and so this would take some time. I recommend spending at least an hour, two hours, really making sure that your bullet points are very, you know, painting a picture that invites the customer to buy it, that shows off everything that you are offering with your product, and that is still keyword stuffed, and that reads um, like a normal sentence would. Now, if you're here still, give me a thumbs up and make sure to comment down below what you wanna see in the next video. Make sure to also subscribe, because once again, I will be releasing multiple videos like this, step-by-step -step how you can start your Amazon FBA business at home with me right now. And with that being said, Make sure that you're tracking your competitors, spying on them, stealing their keywords, and stealing their sales because it's free money and it's yours to take. Now, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.